Back in January of this year, there was a troubling murder-suicide in Riverbend. Troubling not just because a man killed his wife, but troubling too because the Edmonton Police Service refused to release the name of either the victim or her killer. At the time, I said that was a dangerous precedent, and I'm afraid I've been proven more right than I would have liked to have been. So far this year, there have been 17 homicides in Edmonton, and in eight of those cases, the police have refused to release the names of the victims. Six of those cases involved domestic violence. It's a very disturbing trend, and all the more so because of the high rates of domestic murder in this city. The Edmonton Police Service is engaging in a rather new interpretation of FOIP, Alberta's Freedom of Information and Protection of Personal Privacy Act. They've never interpreted it this way before, but they now say that they're forbidden to release the names of homicide victims. But that's not what FOIP says. In fact, Section 32, the public interest override, says a public body can release information if it's in the public interest. And the administration of justice? Well, that's the public interest to me.